they're specialized in total and aerobatic training. So if anybody here needs a total endorsement or has flown tail wheel before 1991, which was the cutoff date, but is not really current and needs some uh, recurrency training, uh, they not only are sponsoring this class, so they're buying us lunch, by the way, in, in, when, we, when we break uh, at the end of the morning. But, um, so for those who have never flown a tail wheel airplane before, this is our little L16. Uh, and it's not a very complex airplane that we can, we can, we can truly say it's complex, you know, it has uh, fixed gear, fixed pitch prop, it climbs at 70, cruises at 70, lands at 70 pretty much. It's, it's as basic as, as, as you can. Um, we're going to talk today about uh, what can happen in a tailwheel airplane and how to avoid bad things. So first let's, um, let's watch a movie, shall we? I think it's a mall. And um, maybe the approach is not really stabilized here, but I don't want to judge. turns to the gun and then say, what did you just do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to look at some photos here, and it's not judgment, right? It's, we're not going to try to uh, judge or second guess what happened. This is a T6, but it's important to see that things like that can happen and do happen. Uh, that's a super curb right there. And that's another super curb. So the question is, why is all this happening? Why do lots of control like this happen in tailwheel aircraft? And so today we're going to talk about lateral stability, we're going to talk about left turning tendencies. But that's not a, a political thing, right? It's just a, <laughs> an aircraft thing. Uh, we're going to talk about coordinate flight. We're going to talk about reversals, we're going to talk about spins, and we're also going to talk about how to prevent those incidents by using proper procedure, proper technique, and using our experience and maybe other experience, others' experience too um, to benefit from. So let's start with regulations. There's two regulations that pertain to flying a tailwheel airplane. Um, 6131 spells out that unless you have soloed a tailwheel airplane before 1991, uh, is a tailwheel pilot a better pilot? Some people ask the question. Maybe it's not that the tailwheel pilot is a better pilot, maybe it's that a tailwheel airplane will require the pilot to maintain a level of control that is not required in a tricycle gear airplane because a tricycle gear airplane is more forgiving. An airplane is an airplane, right? There's not much difference when we fly the airplane. It's still the same concept. You have the wing, you have the uh, empennage, you have the controls. All that is, 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 the, is, is the same. Um, when it gets interesting, is on the ground, things tend to, to be a little different. The main difference, be the main difference between a tricycle gear airplane and, and tailwheel airplane is on the ground. But tailwheel airplane has negative stability, when a tricycle gear airplane has positive stability. So what is negative stability? Let's start with neutral stability. Neutral stability, the big definition is, you take an object, you put it in a different position, it stays where you put it, that's neutral stability. So if you take a, a marble on a flat surface, you just leave it there, it's not going to move. You put it in a different place on the same flat surface, you leave it there, it's not going to move. That's neutral stability, right? What is positive stability? Positive stability is you, you move an object and it will return to its position of equilibrium. So if you take a marble, the same marble, you put it in a bowl, and you put it on the bottom of the bowl, it's good, it's not going to move. Now you take this, this marble and you move it to the side of the bowl and you let go. What's going to happen? 
Well, the marble is going to go back and forth and back and forth and eventually settle in the same position it was at the beginning, in the bottom of the ball. It goes back to its position of equilibrium, and that is positive stability, right? Believe it or not, accidents in a tailwheel airplane, or incidents, I should say, can happen in any of these. In any of You can have an incident in a tailwheel airplane when you start the airplane. I've seen it happen. Not to me, but for Fortunately, but I've seen it happen, we'll talk about it. Taxiing, running up, I've seen an accident happen, I've seen with my own eyes an accident happen during a run-up. Oh. Oh. That hurts. Hmm. S-turns. Uh, S-turn is kind of a misnomer. You don't want to be in constant turning. Uh, the way I like to do a strength is more zigzag. So you do a straight line about 10-15 um, degrees off one way, go to the edge of the taxi way, not too close, and then turn the other way. And, and the idea of s turns is in theory you would see the yellow line on the taxi way on each swing. If you're in the back seat of the steering, it's a little easier than if you're in the front seat of the SMJ because the, the angles from the back seat you see the yellow line of the, ta the center line of the taxi way with less deflection, you need less deflection. So run up, let's go back to run up. Face the wind, stick back, hold the brakes. Stick back. Face the wind, stick back when you do your run up. Bad things can happen there too. That's, that wouldn't be cool. Now we're ready for takeoff. And the takeoff in a total airplane is a lot of fun. Right? <laughs> <laughs> for me, at least, for him, yeah. it was fun. The point was, you know, remember the photo of the L-16. Yes, you can get behind such a small airplane if, if you're not used to tell an airplane. And, and the takeoff role is a demonstration of left-turning tendencies. What happens in the takeoff role? Well, um, you're going to line up on the runway. You're going to have the stick all the way back. If we have a uh, uh, position and hold, line up and width, I'm sorry, if we have a line up and width clearance, a good practice on airplanes that cannot see forward is not to line up straight on the runway because now the engine is on the way, you cannot see what's going on. What do you want to do at that point? Stick all the way back. There's exceptions, but most of the time, most lighter airplanes stick all the way back because now we want to get into a position where the airplane is the least unstable. And we saw earlier that the least unstable is with weight on the tailwheel that gives us some friction that helps us keep the airplane straight. If it doesn't look good, go around. Don't slam the throttle, but go around. <coughs> Avoid quartering tailwind. But the thing is, the question is, do you think this guy started his day thinking that's how it was going to end? It will, you're not going to expect it if it happens to you. Be prepared. That's, a, that's an embarrassing one right here. So what, what, I, what I read is, so I don't, I don't want to judge once again, but the story was the tailwheel lock did not work. I don't know if that's sufficient to uh, sufficient reason for this, but, but the point is this: I'm not immune to this. Nobody here in this room is immune to a ground loop. No, dis no disrespect here, but it's the truth. You know, the airplane does not know how many thousands of hours you have, how much experience you have. It doesn't care. It will embarrass you the same way, regardless who you are. No discrimination there. Look at this. I don't know what happened there, but um, everybody needs to develop a healthy respect for the airplane, and no one has immunity for embarrassment. 